Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode here in Forza Horizon 5. Last episode, we officially hit the 50% mark of completion with all of the different festivals. We have completed the main festival, the Apex Festival, and also the Rush, aka the Stunt Festival. So now all we have left is Stunt Racing, Baja, and the Wilds. And today, hopefully in this episode, we are going to be completing the Baja Expedition. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we're about to uh, get a little toasty in, in the beginning of this episode by going to, uh, to a volcano. La Gran Caldera. Ooh, look at this little car. Rami, Listen to this vehicle, little car. No guide. Small change of plans, my friend. Tell me, have you ever seen an active volcano up close? No, but I want Meet to. Meet me at the top of the mountain. You don't want to miss this. No, I really don't. Whoa! What? what? That? That's nothing. Just a small tremor. Yaris 200 suspension can handle it. No problem. Could you imagine if at the end of this, this thing erupts? And we have to race down this My mountain friend, with lava chasing us. Coming out of this volcano. That you would be next Lost. level Lost. gaming. That would be the most fun thing I've probably ever done in a racing game. Hey, Ramiro, Easily. The festival operations team are tracking some activity around the volcano. That wouldn't happen to be exactly where you're taking my superstar driver, would it? It's Ooh, the superstar. Hey. This is really only a small eruption. Nothing to worry about. Fuck Fine. your fence. Just remember, we have an outpost to set up, yeah? Isn't oh, this my incredible? lord. The volcano has never been like this before. But it's waking up for Horizon. So we're going to have to go to the... the in the top, the tippity top of this volcano that's starting to steam up and erupt. When you reach the top, we should do uh, our tests and then get out of here, my friend. I mean, I'm the cool with it, but... I think the volcano is getting angry. Yeah, it sure does sound I like it. I can see it coming to you live from the Horizon XS Chopper. That's right. We're just we an ant in a test chopper. tube right now. We're flying high over Mexico to see... We're just a spectacle for everybody to enjoy. Like this is so cool. You're on TV. Hey, you get my good side? But there's vapor everywhere. This expedition looks to be heading straight to the active crater of the volcano. This might be the most rock and roll thing <laughs> ever. We'll be Hell yeah, soon. baby. This is so cool. This is so cool. I mean, look how badass this is. Did they say anything about steam vents? See, believe it or not, they said opening them, say with a car, actually helps release the geothermal energy. Keep going, superstar. Don't let the Gran Caldera defeat you. Horizon Excess is cheering you on. Oh. So now we got to reach the crater of La Gran Caldera. Copy that. Feel free to turn on the air conditioning. <laughs> I think we're gonna need it. All right, let's not let's not go too fast around here and uh, plummet to our death. However many feet that would be. You made it, yeah, Rachel. Oh my I gosh, look at this. They say we have some time. In fact, there are some things she wants us to do up here. Okay, for so science, this is you know? like one of the earlier missions we had. For science. For science. So we need to put on the vo uh, volcanologist thermal suit. That's gonna be cool. Find a location for the seismometer. Collect the sample from the hot spring lake, you mean the lava, and smash five steam vents to release geothermal energy. Okay. Well, this is one of these right here, yeah? There's one. And two, three, four, and five. Probably not how the geologists do it, but hey, science is problem solving. Seismometer coming right up. I love how we're just not phased by the molten lake of hot lava behind us. See, Haley? We've placed the seismometer. Ah. Are you getting the readings? Right, Haley, We should be heading down soon. 
I mean, I got some more things to complete. We need to collect this ample and put on some new clothes. Oh, shit. Calculated. Yep. Should be enough war at the cover. Oh, that's all we had to do. Okay. Excuse me, pilot. Mind if we take a detour on the way? I swear I saw some kind of barn or something out there. Okay, Angelica, why did you say that like that? Like you just lost brain cells saying that sentence. I feel like we maybe should have done this first. I don't know. Suited and booted. I feel like that might be better than uh, the jean shorts that I had on, but uh, it's too late. Okay. Now we need to go exit. Perfect landing. Bang. What an entrance. I promised I'd show you an active volcano. What is close. this now, little thing on the I left? Think the show's over. <laughs> yep. That's enough playing with fire for one day. Extreme activity. Oh, that's all I want in this game. Are we gonna take off? That's what it looks like. I also got another CPU fan in the back. What's that all about? Oh, oh man. That was a big one. This I is so the cool. Is telling us we've overstayed our welcome. Erupt, please. <laughs> Agree. I'm gonna be chased by lava. I'll see you at the boat, Rami. Unfortunately, I don't think, think I that's how it's gonna be. This is so cool, man. This is so cool. Are you kidding me, man? That's really why I just want to show you guys the main missions. Because those are the, the missions where we do the outlandishly just fun shit all the time. I know an Alpha circuit that would be perfect. Oh, this is so I much fun. A race already, but here goes nothing. And then we're just gonna fly off again. Oh, please, is this entering the race? Okay, I could have landed that a little bit better. Okay, we're in a race. Okay. How do you expect me to win? Oh, because I'm just better, that's how. <laughs> Dude. Imagine if somebody entered a race like that I would let them win They deserve it just like I deserve this I'm better than all of you Let it be known Fear the man bun Fear the man bun Thank you Thank you Thank you Man I wish there was more of these main missions like this because I think this is the Rise real Baha, shining part of the story in the shoulder game. Shoulder to shoulder with the Baja 500 and 1000. Legendary cross-country racing. My friend, those run once a year. We get to do this every day. That's so cool. Well, I already know what my Baja vehicle is going to be. It is most definitely going to be the Warthog. <laughs> you know how to make an entry. Welcome to Horizon Baja. Dude, is this, is this plane ever set down? It is constantly making passes that are way too low of an altitude. We just well, we okay. What do you think of the place? Okay, I'm not going to question why we're driving destination again. Destination for cross country racing. You in? Yeah, Alex. I'm in. Here's dude. a new cross country event program to start. So I will see you out there. Where? Oh my God! There's just there's more, there's more. There's just look at the look at the map right now. It is ridiculous. It is unbelievable. Okay, so this one actually has four events, which is cool. I kind of want to become a stunt driver for a movie, so I kind of want to do that. A buggy and the beast step into the ring and wrestle with a monster. I kind of want to. I mean, you just calling me superstar? I need to. I need to go star in a movie. So Great. let's go do that. We're filming for the new Vanguard Force movie, and the Vanguard? Star Wars was asking around for you. Call of Duty? I still don't think the two of you look anything alike, but Frankie really seems to need your help. Turn around when it is safe to do so. It's like looking in a mirror, right? I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical twin. You said you wanted some driving lessons. Oh, I don't Get see in. it. 
Let's go. I don't see it. I mean, Frankie looks like he, uh, I mean, he looked like a superstar. What can I say? So, he don't look bad. There's a new movie, Vanguard Force 10. Yeah, I've seen the teasers. And I had fun driving stunts in the last one. Right. The director is insisting we do our own stunts this time round. So I need to get decent after the standard you said. Well, you better keep up them, keep up them, buddy. Stunts. Get out of here, Frankie. Nah, I'm gonna cut you off. I'm gonna cut you off. Left or right, no matter what direction you go, you're not getting in front of me, pal. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, Frank. You're not that guy. All right. All right. Now, this car kind of sucks. Even though it is a Shelby Cobra. Which it really shouldn't suck. But on the corners, it's not really the best. I'm used to my Shark Supra. The Shark Bra. We've already started filming. It's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of resemblance here. What if we don't tell anyone and... And, hang on. You do the driving and I do the acting. Also, I do all the hard I work. Think we could pull that off. And then you take the credit. Yeah, I mean, if you pay me enough, sure. But I don't think you're going to. And we got three stars first try. Even with the with the spin out. Okay, we love that. Right, the superstar is here on set. Scene 15. What are we doing? What kind of stunt are we going to be doing here? Is it going to be a jump? I'm all about the jumps. Those are my favorite. If it's not, then I'm going to be Don't a little bit disappointed. Don't sweat the mate. We'll get that later. You just focus on your driving. Okay, Mike. Will do. Uh, <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Mate, come see me after we cut. I'll get you some lozenges. We're not even going to tell the director as if he would care. Oh, we got a little four by four, man. I'm ready to go mud bogging down by the river. Okay. Right, old Victor. And this is the very first shot of the movie, yeah? No intro, just straight in with the car chases. Well, you're the genius. Very good, Mike. I'm in the helicopter. I okay, well, they're going to see my face first before they see anybody else's. was Mike Steele. Just the stunt direction, while Victor is the overall director. Seems like he bought it. The other What's problem is, this is the first time that I have, um... Just keep your foot down and take the hit, okay? <laughs> this is the first time that I've ever... Not the first time. ...driven these vehicles, so it, you gotta get used to them a little bit. You don't know exactly how they handle, now, how much they lose line. traction when you turn. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, look at him. This is so cool. They got all the camera set up. They got the camera on the helicopter. This is sick. Oh, that wasn't very cinematic. I'm so sorry. I'm ruining your shot. Epic action. Action pose in the car while we're looking super jacked and muscular, dude. Ooh. For the movies, baby. All right, we're about a little over halfway with our course. I got to smash some stuff. I missed it. Victor's in the aerial unit. Says he likes to have a god's eye view. Hang on, I'll put him on. We are the stuff that dreams are made of, my friends. Mexico is our canvas, the car, our paintbrush, and Vanguard Force 10 would be our masterpiece. Our Hang masterpiece. On, let's go. I mean, I'm hauling ass, brother. I know you might be in a helicopter, so you can't tell, but I am pushing this little little buggy about as fast as I can possibly go. I'm trying to smash stuff and make it look all cool. I'll be honest, nothing I'm doing right now is really looking that badass, but you're just going to have to do what you, what you need to with it in post. I know you can work your magic in editing, so that's going to be what you have to do. Oh, we're taking a, a little shortcut take out the cacti in the process and we're recovered we got 30 seconds to make it to our destination and we could just do I don't know oh god how's that for recovery baby I don't know if we like these red smoke signs usually are checkpoints so I don't know if we actually have to hit these 
or not, or if it's just a trailblazer and we can just, like, can we just do this? I'm going off road later. I'm going rogue. Look at me. And that's it. Cut. Nice. We did, did it. Buy it. He did. We can make this work. Wow. How exciting. Where's my paycheck? That's all I care about. What do you need me for this time, Director Mike? You want me to do some cool aerial flips and maneuvers? Some big, big airtime jumps? Right. What do we want? Keep it in the river along like, here. What the fuck is this? Can, we're in a, we're in a, in a sandstorm. What the hell? I'm Stay driving a three. house. Mad Alex. Stay above Mad 60 Alex. miles per hour. Does this Alex thing even go 60 chance. miles an hour? It does, okay. We're in the eighth gear already. We're redlining. In eighth gear at 100 miles an hour. Oh my god, I don't feel safe. Oh my god. And this is a five minute long race. I can't hear anything. All I hear is. That's all I hear. What in the hell are we playing? We gotta make sure we stay above 60. It's all that matters. Okay. Well, then we'll try to do just that, I guess. Making our way through the, the barren wasteland in a sandstorm. This is some Mad Max shit right now. Oh, I missed another jump. What about this one? Bye! Oh, that's coming in with some style right there, Mike. You like that one? That was a pretty good take, huh? I think so, too. Hopefully you'll Which use that one. Which is notoriously difficult to please. Oh, James Bond? He loves your driving, Frankie. Ready for the next setup. I reckon. I'm, am I getting paid double for this? C25. One flew over. Okay, snake. James Bond. Action. Name's Bun. Man Bun. Oh, this car is sick. Tracing all the way back through everything you have experienced. I don't know what a Fantasmagoria is, but I've worked a rally in that thing. So give it the guts. Barricades and ramps ahead. Keep your speed up. Hard turn onto some winding roads up oh, ahead. Oh, oh boy. Listen, this car is not made to be on these roads, and this is an abomination to have these tires touch this kind of terrain. I'm letting you know right now. There are people that are fuming at the mouth right now. Fuming at the mouth, foaming at the mouth. Like rabies, get it? Okay. Focus up, James Bond. Focus up, James Bond. Oh my goodness. I can't hear anything. What sucks is I know I'm yelling because I can't hear anything, but to you guys, the audio uh, levels are gonna be normalized, so I'm just gonna sound like a loud fucking idiot. Huh? But the Aston Martin's handling it pretty well. And cut! Huh. Where on earth did you learn to drive like that, Frankie? What? Huh? I can't hear you! I got sand in my ears! Finally. One of my biggest complaints about this game is the fact that there is not a good fast travel system. Maybe that's by design because of the fact that you can't you know, fast travel everywhere they want you to drive to everything and experience it this is pretty badass but having to scale the same roads and mountains to get to the top of volcano was fun the first time not so month after much after the 10th or the 20th time gets a little get a, gets a little monotonous and annoying there needs to be some kind of fast travel system okay we just had an epic introductory little sequence to that and i'm i'm a little bit afraid that thing looked badass. And you're going to give me this little baby blue little buggy to okay. go against the beast? There's some monster sized trucks. This is going to be good. Okay. Well, where's. Oh, there they are. Okay. Well, they're not going to be very fast. We're going to have the agility on them, that's for sure. Uh, so terrifying. Just don't hit me. Don't crush me. Oh, my God. Unless your name is Lady Dimitrez. <laughs> Brought that one back. 
Okay, I, I said you were slow, dog. Like, do you got a Hemi in that thing? Oh, look how gravity's acting on you, though. Oh. Just so we're clear, if this ever happened in real life, you would implode. Your entire body in the car would just implode. This dude is not going this fast. That's not possible. And we're third. So there's another one that's gonna get into the mix. No. I don't know how we kept track of that and held on to that, but we did somehow. Uh, okay, dude. You don't have to pay attention to the rules, but I do. Brother. That's not really fair. Like, that's not fair at all. Now I'm getting fucking smoked. Are you kidding me? I was having enough, like, hard enough of a time catching up with you before, but now you get to cut corners? Nah. This is a cool... Oh, my God. I'm about to get sandwiched. Oh, this is... I don't want to be DP'd. What the hell? This is a really cool change of pace, though, from the past episodes that we've done with the street racing. And just a completely different kind of vibe overall. And that, I, I really respect how they've done this. No, 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 no. With the plane in the background. Why the fuck is the plane always there? Why is the plane like the creepy uncle that somehow always has to be a part of everything, but you never even know he's there until like you see the picture and he's behind you? All right, we keep on. These guys are maniacs. Jesus. Come on, baby. <laughs> Man. This is so cool. There we go. We're overtaken. Later. Maybe not. I hear their engines revving up. They are so... That doesn't make sense. That's not a thing. Okay, we're 85%. And he's still... Like, there's a checkpoint right there. Why do I have to abide by the rules? Here they come! Two terrifying monsters! And the great hero! Trying to beat them both! I mean, I'm trying. I'm racing about as good as I possibly can. They're going to whoop my ass all game, and then they're going to slow down at the very end just to let me win. I respect how they made that as close as they did. It was way better than the other ones, but it's like, if I can't out... If I can't beat you in a straightaway the whole race, why is it happening now? But you can do a backflip, and... You did it! Oh, she did it. Now, how about a victory lap in that thing? I mean, hell yeah. Can I do a backflip? I want to try to do a backflip. Oh, I'm doing a backflip. Oh, let's go. Oh, that was so cool. I want to do another backflip, baby. Stuck the landing. All right, we need to go get 90 miles an hour. Which I think we can do right through here and hit a fuck ton of bowling pins. Bada bing! 90. We did it. Oh, we're actually really close to the score. Oh, we got the score. I don't know where the hidden bad cactus is. I don't care. I'm doing flippies off the dock, baby! Yeah! I want to stay in a wheelie the whole time. Stay in a wheelie. I'm a show pony. I'm a show pony! Hey! Hey! And I, I ended at the very end. I wanted to stay in a wheelie the whole time. That works, though. I'll take it. Finish first. The buggy and the beast. We won by four hundredths of a second. That tells you how close they made that one. I can't believe that worked. Unbelievable brings fans. Fans bring hype. Hype brings expansions. Everything is going to plan. Plan? Am I like some test subject for you? Am I getting you clout off of my man bun and my wins and my jorts? 
Oh, hell no. I'm not liking the way this is shaping up. And what do we get on today's Horizon Wheel of Fortune? Oh, a brand new into Coop. All right. Okay, that was actually a lot of fun. Full transparency. And with that, after they tell us whatever they're going to tell us, that is going to do it for this episode. Look at that warthog. We're out on the pitch. Okay, viva pinata. Okay. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we won't be able to finish the Baja this episode because we've still got... Uh, we got three of them done, but we just got to get the Titan, the grand finale, which is probably going to be some kind of long-ass race. I'm going to finish all these uh, stunts off camera because, honestly, most of them are probably going to suck and not be not that interesting. It is what it is. Um, so we'll finish the Baja, and we got four in the wild, so we'll probably finish half of the wilds, and then we'll have one more to finish that and get in the Hall of Fame and see what's left after that. So hopefully these episodes are still going good. I appreciate you guys still showing love on this. Stay awesome, stay yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. All righty, peace out, YouTube.